Hello and welcome. In this video series, we are going to cover people who are indulged in the topic called data analyst, data scientist, business analyst, data engineer, machine learning engineer, so and so forth, right? A people who are a part of data family, this video series for them, okay? In this data analytics field, we have seen multiple data, right? Predictive data. So here we go. Descriptive, diagnostic data. And then we have predictive and prescriptive data, right? So what type of data it is and why we are using this kind of a data and what type of data currently you are handling with. So this kind of an insights I'm giving you in this particular video series. So have a look at it and watch this video until the end. Okay, so let's get started. In the video series, you are seeing right uh, past data. We have descriptive and diagnostic and in future related data, we can see predictive and prescriptive. So basically when we predict a data basis on the historical value, which we have available and the data sets, right? So you can see over here less for the value per se, if you can see less to more. Okay. And the complexity per se less to more. So the less complex is descriptive and the diagnostic. However, the more complex because we need to use a algorithms and the formulas for the future prediction. So that's the reason it's in a, a more complex, right? So this is just in a simple graph. If you want to take in a screenshot, you can take it definitely. And these two are more or, you know, these two past and future is more interrelated. So we can't skip any one, right? And uh, as per the UR preference, right? And as per your suitability, uh, you can definitely use this. So we'll move on to the next part, which is a descriptive analytics. So what is the meaning of descriptive analytics? It's in a summarizing past data data so basically it gives us a summary of the data this is the meaning of descriptive analytics so i'll give you the quick example of it so monthly sales reports showing the product performance suppose uh, you're working in the mnc or maybe any small scale industry or maybe large scale industry for that matter right uh, and you want to analyze that data right you want to analyze the product performance okay so that time you can use this descriptive analytics majorly we use this you know in the form of excel spreadsheet that time we use this kind of an uh, activities descriptive one yeah let's move ahead for a diagnostic analytics what identifying reasons from past outcomes okay so i'll give you the example here we go investigating a drop in a customer satisfaction score so basically there is a called a net protector score right for a customer uh, when we have a you know any kind of an um, suppose you went to the mall right and uh, there is a buying mechanism is low right there is so you need to understand that that pulse right why it's happened so for that the reason uh, that that particular call out we will call it as a diagnostic analytics this is just an example again you can implement this example as per your area of industry you are working with or maybe the current scenario which you are handling with right if in case you know you are facing any kind of a challenge in terms of this analytics feel free to drop me a comment on my youtube channel that's for sure i'm there for support okay so let's move ahead predictive analytics it's a forecasting future events using a historical data meaning we have two types of data we have seen earlier right these two types of data correct to future predict we need to ensure that we are utilizing this descriptive or diagnostic data whichever available data sets we have to predict the future yeah so that's the reason we are using this uh, predictive analytics and what it is exactly the example predicting the insurance claim likelihood based on the customer data simple this is the easiest the job right so again this is just an example you can add your own uh, to make that happen as per your industry preference let's move ahead prescriptive analytics offering recommendations to achieve specific outcome okay so let's see the example optimizing delivery routes based on the predictive data so we have uh, predicted so and so data right suppose insurance claim and uh, prescriptive analytics offering the recommendations so accordingly we offer a recommendations basis the delivery routes hope you found this useful folks uh, because this top four type of data analytics is a very very useful and uh, whenever you are working or whichever field you are working in like this okay 
this particular four types of data is very important for you guys so i urge you pause the video rewind it and you know play it again if in case you want this deck i'll definitely share it to you across just comment on the youtube i'll help you over there once again thanks for watching and have a great day ahead